While family vloggers have always prevailed on YouTube, what happens behind the camera has never been discussed. The money and social pressure that come with the job bring a different dynamic to the typical family life. In the race to receive the most views possible, the parents of this particular family seem to be blinded by the views. From a multitude of videos profiting off vulnerable moments of their children to a history of irresponsible pet ownership. This is the dark side of the Norris Nuts. Meet the Norris Nut, a tremendously popular YouTube family channel whose parents have successfully turned their children's tears into monetizable videos. Brooke and Justin filmed their children Saber, Saki, Biggie, Naz, and Disco. The parents, Brooke and Justin, have come under fire recently for frequently publishing stuff that is potentially intrusive and embarrassing for the children. As a parent, your first instinct to your kids crying should not be to shove a camera in their face. A glance at their most popular videos show the success behind showcasing their kids crying. Whether it be an act or reality, a kid should not be subject to such behavior for the benefit of their parents. I doubt a kid wants their vulnerable, emotional, and private moments to be broadcasted to millions on a daily basis. The influencer career of the Norris Nuts is their sole source of income. Despite the fact that Biggie and Naz are too young to legally work even a part-time job, they're practically the only ones bringing in money. To put perspective on the revenue this channel is earning, the channel is estimated to have generated $28 million. It is unknown how the money is being split amongst the family, but all I can hope for is that the kids see some of this money. I don't think the parents of the Norris Nuts are evil or manipulative, but rather just blinded by the money and success the YouTube channel has brought them. I don't despise or hate the family, I just think some reflection is needed to understand the effects of showcasing a kid's vulnerability and emotions to millions of people on a daily basis. Long story short, it's not good. Moving on, the Norrises have a history of adopting a new pet, utilizing it for views for a short time, and then neglecting or abandoning it. So far, the only exception is Winky. They've had the following pets since going viral on YouTube. Bubba, Winky, Baz and Cheddar, and Fishy. Bubba was a puppy the family purchased from a puppy farm. Despite Justin's dislike for dogs and Biggie's fear of them, the Norris Nuts decided to adopt a dog. They did not perform any research as it is customary when purchasing a pet. They declared on June 30th, 2021 that they had purchased a puppy from a puppy farm in Melbourne. Puppy farms are unethical and in Victoria they are also illegal. Brooke rationalized her purchase by claiming that shelter animals suffer skin disorders. She and Justin spent thousands of dollars on the dog and flew her over to them, which was distressing for the young puppy. According to the Norris Nuts, Bubba later died in a tragic accident involving Justin, but no other details were provided. You didn't do anything wrong. Well, you know, it's hard to explain, but... Um... It was just a complete and utter freak accident and yeah obviously i didn't mean to do anything but so justin yeah. his whole life he didn't want a dog it just doesn't when look good when we like first that. met he said i don't want a dog um to convince him to have naz he said um you can have four kids but you can't have a dog so all this stuff and i've told you all these stories so you're probably thinking oh justin really doesn't want a dog but and we did have a dog when I was younger, but I've never been like into pets or had a. Oh, she loves you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like a big guinea pig. <laughs> I feel like you look awkward. Yeah, I'm not a dog person. <laughs> You're not allergic. Why is your nose running? I'm allergic to the dog. <laughs> Don't it's like the me. <laughs> It leaked me. <laughs> so this is what I mean about why this video bothers me. So I don't think that they 
did this on purpose, obviously. I do believe that this was an accident that... Basically what happened is uh, he stepped on the dog and it died. Um, which is awful and sad and traumatic. I don't know if the puppy was like super tiny or something or it was just a really hard step because that's a pretty um, rough way for a dog to die. But the thing that bothers me in this video is how much they're going on about how bad it makes them look and how sorry they feel for Justin, who's the dad, I think, instead of the puppy and how they keep saying they didn't they weren't were sure if they wanted to tell everyone because of how bad it makes them look, but I don't think it makes them look bad. I think what makes them look bad is the fact that they're saying that. They allegedly wrote on Instagram that Justin stepped on Bubba while moving furniture, but it was swiftly deleted. Whatever the circumstances of Bubba's death, she was clearly not in a confined safe area. Broken Justin mentioned in the video announcing Bubba's death that the children were present when Bubba died and that it was too late to take her to the vet. Broken Justin exhibited no sorrow and claimed that no one was to blame for Bubba's death. In actuality, she was kept in a fast-paced, potentially dangerous situation with no one adequately caring for her. It's particularly questionable given their history of mistreating animals and Justin's declaration that he despises dogs. Even after Bubba died, Brooke and Justin claimed that Bubba was still alive so they could profit from her through videos and goods. Their children had to go along with it as well, editing the videos with Bubba in them despite the fact she was already deceased. Now Winky is another puppy from the same puppy farm as Bubba was purchased. Despite the fact that Justin has made it apparent that he dislikes Winky, Saki enjoys training him and has entered him in competitions. So far, Winky seems safe and happy with the family. Now Baz and Cheddar are guinea pigs. The story is that Naz was finally allowed to buy guinea pigs after three years of begging. The Norrises claim that they didn't know how to manage guinea pigs after buying Baz and Cheddar without conducting any research. Only because their followers, most of whom are children, pointed out that guinea pigs must be raised in pairs. Because they're housed in a filthy small cage, Baz and Cheddar have gotten away several times. Baz was once left under the house, resulting in severe injury. I just feel so bad for her in this video. I know it wasn't her fault. I just don't understand why the parents let her take her guinea pig outside without anyone like supervising or anything. Like why weren't her parents with her? Like can't really just take guinea pigs outside without having a little enclosure, like outside enclosure for them or something to bring them out in. Oh shh, your guy's gone back on the move move I think you should move Cheddar further back. The fact that the parents more focused on trying to get a good filming shot of this and helping our kids get the guinea pig back is like really bothering me. Now the last pet the Norris Nuts owned was Fishy. Fishy was their first pet fish who shortly died after bad management. The video of Naz's pet fish dying and her accompanying anguish was uploaded to YouTube for all to see. Fishy was badly malnourished and the Norrises failed to clean his tank. Naz had a few additional fish but they perished quickly as well. Well, she's not wrong about that. We're gonna keep the fish in a plastic bag until tonight. And then tonight we'll let it break free. Biggie means we'll take him out of the bag. I'm not sure what they mean by leaving the fish in there overnight. I mean, at least they are letting it uh, acclimate to the water, but you only really need to do that for about 30, 40 minutes. I won't be getting any oxygen in that bag, so I wouldn't leave him in there for that long. And, and also, really this fish tank has no filter. I don't. I don't really get it. That's surprising, isn't it? Because Sabre and I are gonna buy a replica fishy. A replacement fish, and let's hope that Nazi doesn't realize that this fish we were about to buy isn't fishy. And then we're gonna put the replacement fish in the fish tank and hope Naz has no idea that it's not 
This fish isn't fishy. I don't know if how I feel about the idea of replacing your kid's fish and not telling them that the original died. I think if my parents did that to me when I was a kid, I would not trust them. <laughs> I also feel like this could have been a good part two video where they realize their mistakes and get a bit of fish tank, etc. But I don't think it's what's going to happen. The history of irresponsible pet ownership, as well as the debate on whether a kid should have their life broadcasted to millions, is not to be ignored. However, I don't believe the parents have ill intentions. I just recommend to slow down and realize YouTube views aren't everything in life. Definitely not more important than your family and pet's well-being. With that being said, this is the dark side of the Norris Nuts.